In this tutorial, we will show you how to use import relay wizard to import relay setting from setting file to OneLiner network, and how to retrieve the setting if there is a setting file linked to the relay. You could import the relay setting either from a relay group or from a relay. If you do it from a relay group, double click the relay group, click import. On this page, it shows you all the supported relay setting file types. No matter which file type you have, it will be imported in the same way. Here we use a SEL RDB file. The manufacturer's information stored in the setting file are displayed here. If you want to link the, this setting file to the relay, check this checkbox and click Next. This page shows you all the active elements in group S1. The active elements means all of these elements are enabled in the setting file. For now, the import function support distance element and overcurrent element. The time overcurrent element could be combined with the instantaneous overcurrent element. All you need to do is name them with the same name. The ground distance element has been saved into Aspen type SEL421G. The settings are imported here. The group, the zone 3 is signal only since it is an enabled zone but it is not included in the trip logic. Since we checked that link checkbox, so the link has been saved here. The same thing for the phase distance element. Uh, this is a phase overcurrent instantaneous element. Most of the settings are copy-paste from the setting file directly, but some of them require additional conversions, like, uh, this, like uh, for, for this one, like for the pickup value. The original value is on the secondary side, it's 20, and we converted it to the primary side. Another thing we need to notice that is a signal only checkbox has been checked. It is because this element is enabled, but not included in the trip logic. This is the combination we did just now. This is a time overcurrent element, this is the instantaneous overcurrent element. The curve setting used to be U2, and we translate it into Aspen curve SEL I. The import function could also be initialized from an existing relay. For example, for this gr uh, the ground distance relay, we click Import Settings. Here shows you the difference between current value and the new value from the setting file. We'll click OK to update the settings. Some of the setting files may not be supported by the import function. For example, if you see this message, click OK and click Save to Text File. Give a name to the file. Click open and send us the file. Then we will work on the new type. To retrieve the settings, you need to open the relay setting first. For example, this is a distance relay we just imported. Before you click this retrieve settings button, make sure there is a setting file linked to this relay. Then click retrieve. Since uh, we didn't make any change to the settings, so all the settings are the same. Instead of retrieve the settings one by one, you can also do the batch retrieve. Here are the steps. Click Relay, Relay Database, Relay Data Link Dashboard. On this page, it shows you all the relays with linked setting files. You can sort them. You can also use the data filter on your right hand side. For example, if we want to show the relays in area 2 only, we click here. And if we want to restore it, we click here. Then the same thing for the zones. If you want to retrieve the settings for the latest uh, setting time timestamp or the latest uh, one line uh, timestamp, you can use the updated st status. Here we retrieve all the settings and uh, click retrieve setting. This message box shows you we retrieved the settings for six relays. 
and uh, nothing has been updated and uh, no failures. If there is any updates or failure, you click the TTY window to see the details.